Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another video. So today I have something very exciting to share with you guys. I think we might be just around the corner for a potential reveal and release of Just Cause 4. So obviously E3 of 2018 is approaching really fast and there's already plenty of leaks and rumors surrounding plenty of games that might potentially be revealed at E3 of 2018. Obviously, one of those games is Just Cause 4. If you guys haven't paying any attention, you probably have heard of the Walmart leak that happened kind of recently. And in that league, there was a page that released all the pre-orders for some of the upcoming games that haven't been announced yet. One of those games, of course, being Just Cause 4. We saw a screenshot for a PS4 and an Xbox version of that game. So obviously, it does make me believe that this leak is true, seeing how some of those games were already confirmed, such as Rage 2. Nobody expected to see Rage 2 on that list. But all of a sudden, the developers came out and they have actually officially announced Rage 2 showing as gameplay trailers as well as a live action trailer for that game. So I do genuinely believe that we are going to see a Just Cause 4 reveal at this year's E3. I assume it's just going to be a small teaser, probably like a cinematic trailer or whatnot. I don't expect to see any sort of gameplay at this year's E3, but it might be a definitely a pleasant surprise if we do end up seeing something like that. So first of all, let's talk about is it actually possible time-wise that we are going to see an announcement for Just Cause 4 at this year's E3. I mean, if we look in the past, at the previous Just Cause releases and announcements, you guys can see that the first, obviously, Just Cause game was released in 2006, then we got Just Cause 2 in 2010, and obviously Just Cause 3 in 2015. And also, the announcement for Just Cause 2 came in 2009, and it was released, obviously, the following year. Same for Just Cause 3, which was announced in 2014, and then was later released in 2015. So we are looking at a four to five year gap between all of these games and roughly a three year period between announcements. And obviously if the game was released in 2015, I think we are due for an announcement at this year's E3 and then a release in potentially early 2019 or maybe the fall of the same year. So another piece of information that makes me think that Just Cause 4 isn't too far off comes from Jan. He obviously is very reputable for confirming or denying any sort of leaks or rumors surrounding games and he has blatantly stated that he can confirm that Just Cause 4 is legit. I mean it just makes sense, okay? I think Just Cause developers Avalanche Studios definitely wants to release the next Just Cause game before GTA 6 hits because I think a lot of people are craving a brand new open world experience. I mean GTA right now is pretty odd. I think people are getting kind of fed up with it and whatnot so they are going to be looking for the brand new thing to jump on and I think Just Cause 4 could be that so that's why I also believe that they're gonna put a lot of emphasis on making like a fully fledged out multiplayer mode for Just Cause 4 but I'm gonna make a separate video about that because there's plenty of information regarding that as well that I want to talk to you guys about and potentially we can start discussing any modes ideas and whatnot which I think is going to be a ton of fun. So another potential leak that we have on our hands comes from Christopher Sandberg which is obviously the founder of Avalanche Studio and he has tweeted soon my friends you'll be able to shoot this cross-eyed smiling as the one and only smiling character in this game full in the face coming soon to your favorite violent video game platform from your little friends at Avalanche Studios the developer of video games and as you guys can see it's just a screenshot of a man's face smiling just sitting there and smiling and whatnot but I do kind of believe that this could be related to Rage 2 but then at the same time the stuff that we saw from Rage 2 showed that there's plenty Plenty of characters laughing, smiling and whatnot. So this potentially could be the first leak or the first screenshot that we get of Just Cause 4. Personally, I don't really think that is going to be the case, but many people have speculated that this could indeed be Just Cause 4. I don't know, what do you guys think about this? Do you think this is Just Cause 4 or do you think this is another game that they are currently working on or potentially this could be Rage 2 that they have already announced? As some of you guys might already know, Square Enix is actually hosting their first press conference since 2015 at this year's E3 which is obviously the release of Just Cause 3. Just Cause 3 got released in 2015 and that was the last time they had their press conference which does make me think that they have plenty in store for 
for us and one of those games obviously could be Just Cause 4. I mean, there's just so many sources confirming this and so many leaks coming out. I mean, Walmart and also Yang confirming that. I think that is enough for me to believe that we might actually see something at this year's E3. Judging by the success of Just Cause 3, I think Avalanche Studio knows that there's plenty of hype for the next Just Cause game. So it is in their best interest to release that as soon as possible and ideally before GTA 5 drops. Because let's be honest, if GTA 5 drops is just gonna stomp on everything and if the rumors are true and Avalanche Studios is working on a massive fledged out multiplayer mode, I think that is going to be a great competitor to GTA 5. So as of recording this video right now, I have found another piece of information that pretty much confirms that Just Cause 4 is happening. The domain name of JustCause4.com was originally registered by Square Enix in 2012 on May 18th. And as of today, the May 18th of 2018, it was meant to expire, but it's been renewed by Square Enix until 2020, which I originally anticipated was going to be the release of Just Cause 4, but I do do think right now that we might see it in late 2019. I mean, why would they register this domain if they didn't have the intention of actually putting something up on the website? And it's very specific because it obviously it is just cause for. So I think we are just around the corner for the release of this game. So the last leak I have for you guys, I personally don't think it's very reputable because it is allegedly a leaked email for some of the people that are going to be attending or some of the employees that are going to be helping out with the organization of E3. And essentially what it showed was a huge list of some of the reveals that are going to happen at this year's E3. The reason why I think this email might be completely fake is simply because it has mainly some of the games that we never expect to be announced at this year's E3 and also it showed Battlefield 1945 but as we already know the new Battlefield is going to be called Battlefield V and another thing that makes me think that this is completely fake is that the fact that it only has some of the big AAA games there's nothing unusual out there most of the games on that list are sequels to already existing unpopular games which makes me kind of think it is kind of sketchy to see that but obviously on that list we do see that Just Cause 4 is on there as well as Kingdom Hearts 3, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Final Fantasy Remake Project, I have no idea what that means, One Punch Man and a new Avengers game Age of Reckoning but once again we see in that memo that Just Cause 4 is meant to have a reveal trailer and a gameplay demo but like I said I'm very skeptical of a gameplay demo at this year's E3 maybe it's going to be a massive surprise who the hell knows but anyway guys that is gonna do it for this video let me know what you think about this are we actually going to see Just Cause 4 at this year's E3 let me know in the comments down below I personally do think that we are going to see some sort of a teaser or reveal trailer at this year's E3 I mean there's just too much information right now I mean the release and announcement window all checks out and everything so yeah if you guys enjoy this make sure to leave a like on it subscribe if you're new to the channel i'm gonna be doing plenty more just cause 4 videos i think we're gonna start wrapping up the speculation talking about new modes the features that we definitely want to see in that game so yeah thank you so much for watching guys hope you're gonna have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys next time take care and goodbye bye bye bye, -bye.